You can search through the contents of an integrated terminal in VS Code much as you can search through a normal text editor. In this integrated terminal, I'm going to go and run a command that prints out a bunch of outputs. So I'll say ls-r here. You can see it's printing out a bunch of files. I'll just stop that. And let's say that we now want to find a string somewhere within this output. To start a search, I could just say Control F or Command F, and then type in the string that I'm searching for. So I'll say web in this case. And you can see that VS Code is now going and searching through the integrated terminal and highlighting the occurrences of the string web. So it's found one over here. If I want to browse through some of the other occurrences, I can just use the arrow icons or press Enter again. Um, and I can go and browse through all of the different occurrences of web within the terminal output here. Once I'm done with the search, I can just hit Escape, and the Find widget will go away. Now, if I go back to the Find widget, so again with Control F or Command F, there's also a few other options for controlling the search itself. And again, these options are going to match what you see inside a normal text editor. So the first option is whether or not the search is going to be case sensitive or case insensitive. By default, it is case insensitive, but if I turn on match case here, it will now only match lowercase web in this case. Or if I typed in something with uppercase, it would only match uppercase web. There's no occurrences of that one in this case, but you get the idea with match case here. The next one is going to control whether or not the search matches a whole word or not. So again, I'll type in web here. And you can see that it's matching webpack here as the word. Now, if I turn on match whole word, it will only match occurrences of web that appear on their own. So it's not going to match when web appears as part of another word, like uh, webpack, for example. But it did match web when it appears as part of dist web here, because web is appearing as its own little individual word. The final option here is going to control whether or not a regular expression is used for searching. So when I turn this on, whatever I enter in the find widget is going to be treated as a regular expression. So if I say a dot b, it's going to match any occurrence of a and then some letter and then b. So if I hit enter here, you can see it's matched a dot l dot b. If I keep going, a dot l of b again, a dot n dot b. So it just is using the uh, ter search term as a regular expression and using that to match on the terminal output. Using the find widget plus all of these different options makes it easy to find what you're looking for in the terminal output. So that's a quick look at the terminal find widget in VS Code.